Grace and peace, everyone. I hope you're well and blessed today. I am in James 4, 7. So then surrender to God, stand up to the devil and resist him, and he will flee in agony. Many times I thought surrender was just rebuking the enemy, saying, God, I surrender, but not really changing what I was doing. It was like throwing up a white flag and letting the enemy know I was defeated. But I wasn't. I was actually walking in God's victory. But I couldn't see it that way. Why? Because I wasn't resisting the enemy. I, I wasn't cleansing my life and drawing my heart closer to God. I was being doubtful. I was being double-minded. Which means I was keeping one foot in the world and trying to keep one foot in God. Thinking that it was okay to be that way. But the enemy was always coming at me. And I wasn't removing these obstacles in my life that were pulling me back away from God and keeping me in friendship with the world. As it says here, you will be made low and he will exalt you. The lower you get with yourself, letting go of friendship with the world, and you bow your knee to God and you say, I obey, I submit, I will remove these things out of my life and resist the enemy and he will flee. If I say those things and I do those things, then I'm walking in God's victory. I'm doing what this says. I'm surrendering to God. I'm standing up to the devil and I'm resisting him. So whether it is stepping out the doorway and going to church on Sunday morning or Bible study that evening or to that small group to be around those women that um, are ministering to you and they have a biblical foundation or whether it's removing the alcohol out of your house so the temptation is not there. That is resisting the enemy. Not just saying, I rebuke you and you're going to leave in the name of Jesus. Resisting him is taking that step of action to remove what you need to out of your life. To continually push through that situation and do exactly what God's called you to do. To not be double-minded and to waver in the decision that you're saying, I'm re I rebuke you, devil. But yet you don't take the action to resist him. And many times I struggled with this. I struggled what that true surrender was. And what it truly meant to resist him and move my heart closer to God. Cleanse my life. And then stop doubting what I have, the decision I made and walk forward in that decision. Because it says here, feel the pain of your sin. The pain of sin is death. It's death. It's death to you. And if your sin ripples through people that are around you, your family, your friends, it's death to them because sin grows. So we lay these things and we weep and we say, Lord, forgive me of these sins. Forgive me of these areas that I thought I was standing up to the devil, but I wasn't resisting him. And Father, I bow my knee to you, not to this world. And I exalt you because I know you will exalt me through these situations when I surrender and resist the enemy. So, Father, I just pray that over us today. Father, help us to know where the resistance is, to remove that resistance out of our life so the enemy will flee. Help us understand this is where our stance is, Father. That this is where you are trying to show us that if we take that step forward, it will not be a flag of white flag being waved of saying I'm defeated. It will be God's banner being waved. It says I have already won and I am walking victorious through this. Father, we thank you for everything you've given us. Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice on the cross to help us see and to forgive us of these sins. Help us lay these down. Thank you for walking this path before us. And Holy Spirit, I ask you to guide us each day, revealing these areas of surrender, revealing these areas that we need to resist, and helping us lay them down, not being double-minded about the decision and walking forward in faith. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen.